Hey guys, Streaming or Anchor Veteran here, and this is my video on my new uh, 2016 Nissan Altima SL. It's almost fully loaded, only missing like one option or so. But uh, there's the rims. I have loved these rims. The car rides nice. Uh, it has a 2.5 liter four cylinder. car is absolutely a dream it's it's so much better than my uh, Dodge Dart I had yes I realize it's dirty I've had it for two days there's only 286 miles on it and uh, I realize it's dirty because it's winter there's salt on the road uh, probably on Wednesday I'm gonna go wash it up but uh, let's see outside Travel to the back. Oh, it does have the sunroof, as you can see right there. Moon roof, or whatever you want to call it. That's a back. It has tremendous trunk room. Dual exhaust. Like I said, it has a tre tremendous amount of trunk room. I'll show you that real quick. You can put it, put a normal size suitcase, uh, standing straight up in it. I mean, it has a tremendous amount of trunk room, honestly. It, this thing's awesome as hell. Those are pull tabs. Mine has the Bose audio system, so that thing in the center is the amp that comes built in and the two bigger speakers in the back. The seats can get pulled down with those tabs. The little net thingy over there to hold something in. Let's come around this side and show you. that push button I don't even need a key to start the car it's a push push to start vehicle all you do with this car put your foot on the brake and push this little button here and you can see the gauges turn on and stuff and that's where you can see only 288 miles once it goes back to it I can do all the phone stuff in here yeah, there you go. It's 288 miles. I got your auto dimming mirror, the garage door stuff, a pretty nice stereo. It doesn't have the navigation. I wish it did, but that's not a deal killer for me. Dual climate control. You got your USB down there and a 12 volt. Your shifter with sport mode. You got your heated seats high and low, which I like that a lot big uh, space in that the Bose audio speaker there's the front one where it, it says Bose audio which is pretty good I like it um, what else oh, I yeah, had a sunroof here as you can see I'm looking out of it there's the back seats back there they're pretty nice they're very roomy they're a little dirty at the moment but that's okay I gotta clean this thing and I'm planning on getting floor mats but the thing's nice, very, very nice. Uh, if I turn on the radio, just turn the volume down. It gives information and stuff for the radio stations. It has serious, serious satellite radio, but I don't use that. Apps, it does like Facebook, all your phone stuff, all your messages and everything will come in there. You see that there, that's uh, tell me if phone's connected Bluetooth, how much battery I have and the signal I have, which is really cool heated seat all the both heated seats actually both power seats there's all your source which is for your AM FM media auxiliary stuff like that and that's the switch your displays up there so are those and then your volume for your remote or volume for the radio on that steering wheel but if you select this it goes to different things like your blind spot warnings your average miles per gallon door yeah your warning stuff obviously it's gonna give me a warning for my thing being open that's just your standard screen to look at tire pressure only works when you're driving but that's okay your average and sh stuff like that then you got uh, like I said your dual climate control over here you can turn the fan and stuff down with that and if you want dual you go that but well, actually I gotta put it back to uh, turn it off and then you go to dual 
and see how it goes 65, 74. The person on this side can control their temperature that they want. And you know, vice versa, you can do it differently on this side too. And I do have an in here, you have your small little container and you lift up on this and there's another 12 volt port right there. Uh, what else can I think of? Oh, okay, I guess I could show you the engine real quick. Or not, yeah, the engine, not that. Uh, stability control, heated steering. There's that. There's your light dimmers. Can't think of anything else offhand. You got your garage door, uh, not garage door, but your lights are up here. And that's for the moon roof. If I want to, I can pull this back. And there you go. That one's closed. If you don't want people to see... Um, in or whatever, or if the sun's too bright, I want to close the uh, thing there. All right, hang on just a second, guys. So you put that in there, and here's your Nissan uh, 2.5 liter four cylinder. Very nice motor, it does have a lot of get up and go, extremely clean for 200 miles. I mean, there's dust on it now, but yeah. I've been driving, so what to expect. <laughs> a decent sized battery. Um, better than the Dodge Dart one. I hate that it had all those um, fuses and shit on that thing there. Oh, I like this better too. The Dodge Dart didn't have any of these bolts on the top holding that down, so that's much better. Your ear cleaner here. You got your brake fluid back there. You got your engine dipstick. Got a radiator fill. Um, power steering fluids here. You got your overfill reservoir. But it, it's a very, very quiet engine. I, haven't, I don't have any issues with this sucker. It won't run great and cool I do have the fog lights down there that do work as you can see they're actually on right now <laughs> I'm uh, thinking about upgrading those to LEDs though eventually here because LEDs would be brighter but it's funny it's like the air comes from down here up and along and then into that and then back and then into it. I'm wondering if I could get a I don't think I want to mess with it being a new car but like a ported throttle body like I did on the Dodge Dart. Well, this is, this is a much better ride than the Dart. Much smoother. You don't feel as much bumps. It's actually got, I would say, just as much get up and go. But the, uh, sorry about that wind. But the um, suspension's not as stiff as the Dart. But I do like these rims much better. Um... It does have a little body roll where the dart did. But other than that, this, this car has been great. All right, guys. This has been the Iraq, Stream and Iraq War Veteran. And uh, this is my new uh, 2016 Dodge Dart. Yeah, Dodge Dart. <laughs> my 2016 Nissan Altima. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like, definitely hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, I will see you again soon. Have a good one.